What is going on Pats Nation? It's Patriots Global here back with another video and in this one we're going to be talking about how I believe the New England Patriots should not make a trade for 49ers quarterback, former New England Patriots backup quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo. You guys did hear that correctly, how I believe they should not make a trade for him. Before we get into this one, though, I do want to quickly, guys, ask you to please hit that subscribe button if you are not a subscriber yet. Completely free, costs you nothing, along with hitting that like button. Whether you are a subscriber or not a subscriber, this is completely free. It takes less than a second, and it will help me and the, the makings of more videos like this in the future to come. And it just would mean the world to me because you guys don't understand how much hitting that like button seriously helps me and the channel out. But I'm sure we've all already heard the reportings this past week, the past few days for that matter, that the New England Patriots' number one plan and the number one route that they're looking to take at the quarterback position for 2021 is to get Jimmy Garoppolo back in the building where his NFL career originally started with the New England Patriots. And this definitely doesn't surprise me that it's plan A for them and it's the number one priority. Maybe not the number one priority, but um, the, the number one solution that they would like to happen because we know how much Bill Belichick loved Jimmy Garoppolo. He praised Jimmy Garoppolo. Even when Jimmy G left, Belichick had nothing but good things to say about him. And Belichick was completely ready to move on from Tom Brady and to move on to Jimmy Garoppolo and even was starting to surround the offense around Jimmy G before he was forced to trade Garoppolo. Now, the big thing here that we've heard with Jimmy Garoppolo is that the Patriots probably will not trade for him unless it is for a later round pick. Now, I personally don't believe that. I believe, look, if Belichick really wants to get Jimmy Garoppolo back in the building, he'll do anything and everything to get him back here. But we've also heard from the other spectrum that the 49ers will not move on from Jimmy Garoppolo unless they have a true upgrade at the quarterback position. And they are looking at every single avenue to replace Jimmy Garoppolo. They've looked in trades. They've looked in free agency. They're looking at the draft. They don't want Jimmy Garoppolo. That's, it's pretty evident that they very much would like to move on from him. I also have heard reports that came out today that the 49ers and the uh, Panthers actually had a trade going on for Teddy Bridgewater. Teddy Bridgewater was going to be traded to the 49ers, which of course very much likely meant Jimmy Garoppolo was going to just straight up have been released. But for some reason, last minute, the San Francisco 49ers pulled out. Ironically, this was around the same time that reports were coming out that the Patriots' number one plan was to bring Jimmy Garoppolo back. So it's very intriguing. You know, do the 49ers start to think and go, well, Bill Belichick wants him back. Are, are we missing something? Should we keep him? Or are the 49ers going, well, if the Patriots want him that much, they'll make a trade for him. And I really believe that making a trade for Jimmy Garoppolo is not in the best of ideas for the New England Patriots as they look to improve the quarterback position for 2021. I love Jimmy G. I completely understand why Belichick and why Patriots fans want him back. I do. He knows this system. You know what you're getting out of him. You don't have to worry about well, shoot, how's this quarterback going to play in our system? How long is it going to take him to learn the playbook? You know what you're getting with Jimmy G, and you know that he knows your playbook. You know that you can divulge him within all of the plays that you can possibly imagine because he's been with the Patriots or had been with the Patriots for three years. I mean, Cam Newton himself had even said that at the end of the season, he still did not know the vast majority of the Patriots' playbook. He didn't know most of the plays. He even said when he came to New England at first that he related the Patriots playbook and scheme, the kind of uh, relating it back to, I believe the word he used was chemistry. And it definitely showed on the field that Cam Newton did not know the Patriots playbook, didn't really know the, the scheme all that well. And while I think he can learn it, he definitely didn't have it under his belt year one. Again, it makes complete sense on why Belichick would want him back in the building. But with that being said, you also have to look at the facts. So number one, if the Patriots were to make a trade for him, 
They would have him under contract for only about two years. 2023, he will be an unrestricted free agent. Now, he did sign one of the biggest contracts in the NFL a few years ago. Back with the 49ers, he had signed a five-year, $137.5 million contract. Now, for 2021, he would be making a base salary of about $24.1 million, and he would have a cap hit of $26.4 million. And then in 2022, he would have a base salary of $24.2 million and a cap hit of $27 million even. Now, that contract is not too bad. You know, we were talking about Matt Stafford to the Patriots for a little less than what Jimmy's making, but pretty similar. Now, I will say Matthew Stafford, much better quarterback than Jimmy G, but contract-wise, the Patriots were okay with what Stafford was bringing on, and I think they'd be okay with what Jimmy's bringing on. The only problem is, is you're not going to be getting Jimmy Garoppolo for too many games. So if you bring in Jimmy Garoppolo, hey, it's great. Yeah, you have a guy who knows the system, who knows the playbook, but chances are you're going to get that for half a season, if that, if you're lucky. And then that, $24.1 $24.1 million that you put into Jimmy Garoppolo essentially doesn't matter because he's not on the field and you have to rely on your backup quarterback to now win you games. And if our backup quarterback is still Jared Stidham, how does anybody believe that we will be improved on offense and improved at the quarterback position rolling in to 2021 and 2022? There has been one season that Jimmy Garoppolo played in double-digit games his entire season, and that was in 2019, the year that the 49ers went to the Super Bowl. That year, he appeared in all 16 games. He didn't have a bad year. It wasn't wasn't great. It wasn't elite. wasn't top tier, but it wasn't a bad season. He had 476 attempts, 329 completions, 69% completion rate, just below 4,000 yards and 3,978 with 27 touchdowns uh, and 13 interceptions. But okay, then the year after that, this past year in 2020, Jimmy Garoppolo only appears in six games. Only appears in six games, throws 140 pass attempts, 94 completions with a completion percentage of 67.1, 1,096 yards, um, seven touchdowns, five interceptions. The year before 2019, the year he played a full season, 2018, he appears in just three games, only three games with the 49ers. In 2017, only appears in six games with the 49ers. And look, you could try to make the argument, you know, well, Patriots global, you know, the the 49ers, they don't have a great offensive line. They don't have great weapons. The problem with that argument is that it's not true. I would say that the Patriots have a better offensive line, but the 49ers definitely have one heck of an offensive line. It's definitely a better offensive line in the league. As for weapons, how can you tell me that George Kittle, one if not the best tight end currently in the league, Debo Samuel, Brandon Ayuk, and a pretty decent running game, that's really not much much worse than, or it's not worse at all than what the New England Patriots have had, especially in 2020. That's easily an upgrade. So what makes you think that Jimmy Garoppolo then coming to New England, things will be different, that he'll be a a quarterback that somehow can stay healthy. So then if New England does make a trade, now they're giving up draft capital for a guy that isn't able to stay on the field. They're bringing on a over $20 million contract for a guy that can't stay on the field. Again, I would love to have Jimmy Garoppolo back, but the only way I even consider it is if he becomes a free agent, if the Patriots can negotiate their own contract with him. Because if Jimmy Garoppolo does come back to New England, I'm telling you right now, Belichick better have a very decent plan B. He better be going into training camp and the offseason in the mindset of a quarterback battle, not having Jimmy Garoppolo as your pure starting quarterback. Because if that's what Belichick is going to do, I don't know how he, the coaching staff, anybody in the league, including us fans, think that we are going to have a better record than what we did last year. If Jimmy G were to stay healthy, then yeah, we're having a different discussion here. But when you're telling me 
that since joining the league in 2014, this kid has only had one full season. One full season, and you want to make a trade for him. And we don't even know what a potential trade could look like for Jimmy Garoppolo if that's the route the Patriots decided to take. I mean, fine, I'd be willing to give up a a comp 7th round pick. Or not a comp pick, but a conditional 7th round pick, meaning that he has to meet certain standards for the 49ers to to get that 7th round uh for them to get that 7th round pick. But I would not give up a 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, or even a 6th round pick for Jimmy Garoppolo. If he gets released, we can have a discussion on should we bring him in. But I am not having a discussion on the New England Patriots bringing in a quarterback in Jimmy Garoppolo for a trade. And I think if Belichick does that, then the 49ers fleece the New England Patriots, no matter what that is, because chances are Jimmy Garoppolo isn't going to stay healthy. Let's remember that the year he had to take over for Tom Brady for four games, he also could not stay healthy. There's not many great options there in the quarterback market. But I would rather them go with a Cam Newton starting at quarterback or even trading for Gardner Minshew and then draft a young quarterback in a Mac Jones or a, 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 not a Justin Fields, but a Trey Lance, whoever it may be before I would go in the route of a six game a season Jimmy Garoppolo. Before we end this one, though, I do want to let you guys know about my boys over at BetOnline.ag. Now, BetOnline has the fastest and easiest ways to bet on all of your sports action. Football might be over, but NBA, college basketball, and the NHL are still a full swing. BetOnline even covers awards, TV shows, and reality TV, and they have real-time updated odds, props on almost anything you can imagine. BetOnline has you covered for all the news, scores, and odds, and it is the best way to place your bets, and it's completely free to sign up. All you got to do is head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and receive 50% off your um, first deposit. Now, BetOnline, your online sportsbook experts, do not sit on the sidelines anymore, y'all. Get in with all the action. Don't forget to use that promo code CLNS50 for, again, that 50% off welcome bonus on your first deposit. Now, y'all, I know I sounded very harsh in this video. I know I kind of was raining down on the Jimmy Garoppolo parade, but I think someone had to say this. I think perspective needed to be put in with Jimmy Garoppolo back to the Patriots. I think a lot of Patriots fans are just looking at the fact that, hey, he's a former Patriot while Brady was here, and it would be great to have him back. And I don't argue it would be great to have him back, but you got to look at the facts that he's a very injury-prone quarterback, and you're sitting at a bigger question mark during the season— when the season's already started, you're halfway through the season, and Jimmy G gets injured. What do you do then? Not to mention the fact that apparently at the end of this past season, Jimmy Garoppolo could have returned to the 49ers, but he decided not to. Kind of says a lot about his character. But what are your guys' thoughts on this situation? I told you my thoughts. I want to know yours now. Let me know in the comment section below. Remember to give this video a big, big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for all of your New England Patriots news, and I'll catch you in the next one. Like always, thank you guys so much for watching.